Okay then folks, welcome back to GTA 3 with 6 stars. Now at the end of the previous recording session I uh, had a go at the final mission for Donald Love, Decoy, but I failed because the security car got destroyed. So let's have another go at it in this recording session. Once I've uh, finished Decoy, which will hopefully be in this recording session if all goes well, I will do, or rather, view Love's Disappearance because it's just a cutscene, not a mission. And after that, I'm not sure because, well, the next uh, story mission is Bait, which, as I've said many times already, is one of the hardest missions in this game with six stars. And along with Rig to Blow and Big and Vainy, I've never managed to get past that mission with six stars. So I might end up doing something else before I do bait. And in case you've forgotten, at the start of this mission, no matter what wanted level you have, you know, whether it's uh, five or six, you get chased by cops. I'm only being chased by tanks at this stage because, well, they were already chasing me when I triggered the mission. And now that two of them have disappeared, they've been replaced by two cop cars. So what I have to do is... Lose my wanted level at a pain spray, and then reactivate it. And that'll cause tanks and barracks trucks to start chasing me again. So once I've, once I've done Love's Disappearance, I might do some taxi driver fares. Just get them out of the way. Because like Vice City, it will, be, uh, it will take quite a while to get through them. Well, maybe not as long as in Vice City because... Like I've said many times, also, you can do a taxi driver in this game with any vehicle you want, due to a glitch. Oops. I'm looking forward to passing this mission. Mainly to, uh, get away from the very long painful and tedious drives from my hideout to Donald Love's place and then from Donald's place all the way to Shoreside Vale. Oh bloody hell. So at this point in the playthrough I just have to finish all the story missions as well as the final mission for El Buru, Big and Vainy. Uh, King Courtney's missions, D Ice's missions, and of course Marty Chonks's missions. The ones that uh, don't appear on the radar. I also have to do the four Toys side missions Mafia Massacre, Diablo Destruction, uh, Casino Calamity, and Rumpo Rampage. Uh, also, the four off road side missions. Patriot Playground, A Walk in the Park, uh, Multi-Story Mayhem and Grit. Uh, the Emergency Vehicle Crane, both import-export garages, the Rampages, the Unique Stunt Jumps, Taxi Driver, on oh, Firefighter, and of course Paramedic. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one task that I've forgotten. Now then, let's take out these scripted police vehicles. Oh. Hold on a minute. I think I heard a laughing policeman. Let me just take out... Bollocks! I thought there was a... SWAT officer on my tail right there. Shite. <sighs> Fuck's sake, game.
Didn't even get a chance to start the fucking mission. Bloody hell. And by that I mean I didn't I didn't even get a chance to get in the fucking van. I got well and well and truly fucked right there. In case you've forgotten, I've already exported a barracks truck and an FBI car at the emergency vehicle crane. Ex fucking cues me, I don't think so. So at some point, I'll take a tank to the EV crane. And just hope I can get in another one without getting wasted or busted. Because there's cops all over the place at Portland Harbour. Right, here's hoping this mission attempt goes a lot better than the last two. And by that I mean let's hope I pass it. Before I get in the security car, I'll check to see what army vehicles are chasing me. And I'll make a mad dash for... God! I'll make a mad dash for that area west of the airport car park. Because that's a pretty safe haven. In this, in this mission. Even when you don't have six stars. Well. What I mean by that is, even when the army aren't chasing you, it's a safe haven. when you get in the security in the security car under normal circumstances you get an instant six star water level but you get chased by cops like I am just now ouch right see him again blister and then back in the tank oh hello oi well, don't get busted I could have got flattened right there. Don't! Okay, the blister's okay. Ah, even if it did get destroyed, it'd be no big deal, because I can just... I could have just got a car from the nearby multi-story car park. Good, good. Right. No, it's not good, good, good. I still need to pass the fucking mission. Hopefully today. Hopefully on this attempt. So ideally, I'll want uh, to have three barracks trucks coming after me once I get in the van. So at least then I won't have to worry about getting blown to shit after I've only just gotten the van. That's the only hard part about this mission. The, the drive from the Pike Creek warehouse to a safe haven. In my case, the airport. Right, let's take out these scripted police vehicles and just hope I don't get yanked out of my tank by a laughing policeman. As in busted by a laughing policeman. God's sake! Oh god, don't flip it. See, it's little things like that that can cause you to get fucked. And I'm pretty sure that is exactly how I got fucked in the last mission attempt. Oh, fucking hell. It's okay, at least I spun around. Instead of flipping upside down or something. Right, go away, tank. Right. I'll go this way this time.
And I think there are a few more items here. I'm not 100%. Yeah, there are, sorry. Yep. Oh, oh, uh oh. Yes, cop, I saw that. Just take the long way around. Play it safe. Knowing my luck, I'll still get blown to pieces by a tank. Yep. Well, let's go. Cop car and an enforcer to take out. Which I've done now. Right, what's what's chasing me? What's chasing me? Uh mm. Tank. Well, if I can get a tank stuck, that'll be fine. If I went over here, would more spawn. Uh oh. It's all right. I'm okay. Did they get out? Yeah. The other one on the other side of the tank. Yep. I'll just use this. Ow. Yeah, ow indeed. Might be worth taking out the helicopters first of all. With the, with the right weapon. Right, what's down there? Another tank. Right, I've got shifting to do. I can't get in that. Everybody's getting it. That's going to make more army vehicles spawn, annoyingly enough. Right, I'll sh shove this tank out of the way. If I can't. Sorry, this is taking so long. Get lost. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take out that truck that's up ahead. I'm just taking out the trucks, that's all. Well, hopefully by going uh, far enough away from those soldiers, they'll disappear. I'll just get in it. Oh, after all that! I have to make sure there are three law enforcement vehicles already in the area before I get in that van. I have to. Because as you just saw, a tank just come out of nowhere. Such a waste of time. It happens so often. I cannot wait to pass this mission, honestly. I can and will, it's just very fucking difficult. I'll just wait to wait until you do bait, rig to blow and big and vain.
Don't get ultra copped. Thank you, truck. Pyong. Pyongyang. I guess I'm going this way instead, because those trucking fucks want to be like that. Uh, don't flip it over. Okay, take three. So no second times to charm for this mission attempt. Uh, no, sadly no. Don't end up in the water, please. So again, I need to make sure there are at least three law enforcement vehicles in the area before I get in that van. Otherwise, I'll just get ambushed by a tank that comes speeding down the hill before I get anywhere near my safe haven. Right, again, let's take out these things. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Am I alright? Yeah. I'm okay. Ow. Come on, get up the hill. Okay, that's all the scripted ones gone. Oh, look at all that money. Not that I'll need it. Right, we've got only only got one law enforcement vehicle. I'll get this one out of the way. thing I could do is uh, block the entrance with my tank, like I did in the last recording session. Did they get out? No, they're staying in. Okay, there's two. If the third law enforcement vehicle could be a truck, that would be brilliant. Okay, there are three. That's fine. Please don't get in. If that tank gets in, it's all over. Go. Oh, fucking land stalker! Idiot! Oh! Oh! Okay, here we are. Uh oh. Okay, that tank is just gonna stay up there, that's fine. Here we are, finally my safe haven. So, I'm just gonna speed the video up until the clock counts down to zero because no law enforcement vehicles will spawn in this area what-so-fucking-ever. There we go, easy when you know how, and easy when the strategy fucking works as well. There we go. Now, in the previous recording session, I said that I wanted to try and take this security car to the import-export garage in Portland. Fuck. 
Fingers crossed. Clap for me. And that bridge had better only just have come down. If that bridge goes up now, I could be fucked. Okay, there's a truck behind me. Oh. Okay, okay. If I die now, I don't care. I got past decoy. So this, along with the bus, uh, flatbed, and trash master, are the most difficult vehicles to take to the import-export garage in Portland because they're so slow, and uh, tanks can go faster than them. At least I'm pretty sure they can, anyway. Right, I'm just going to stick to the wide roads, okay? So I have a better chance of avoiding getting blown up. I'm going to take it to my Staunton garage first, okay? Just so I've, uh, you know, taken it halfway. Oh god, this isn't good. Okay. Okay, then again. Okay, I was wrong about the security car being slower than the tanks. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, it's fine. And it's good. And that truck got stuck, I hope. Yeah, it did. Well done. Jeez. Well, the next step is to take it to Portland Harbour. But that's a start. Well done. Very well done indeed. And I'm not checking the footage because I've already checked it. It's fine. Whew. Okay, slot 5 will be today's backup save. I will save over slot 8 today. So, safe and sound in my garage. Should I take it to the import-export garage now? Let's give it a shot. Go on. Go on. Go fucking on. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. That's right, reverse. Uh... Let's try again. I could have snuck past them, but never mind. This route is just as good as any. Okay, so it can outrun the barracks trucks, but it can outrun tanks. That's good to know. The same probably can't be said for the other vehicles I mentioned. Flatbed, bus, and trash master. Well, not trash master, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's way too slow. Go away. Go away, helicopter, please. Are you, are you sure that was the helicopter shooting at me, or was it cops under the bridge? Because if it was the helicopter, that's... Uh, it seemed to be shooting at me in a rather strange way. Oh well. Who cares? The van is fine, and that's all that matters. I don't have to worry too much about exporting a coach, because there's one right there. Right, oh god. Oh, that truck is going to cause me a massive problem if it doesn't leave me the hell alone. If I'm able to, I'll sneak around the back of the warehouse, where the warehouse party took place in shop, I don't... Ah! Fucking sniper rifle, honestly. Fucking helicopter as well. Ah, go away, officers. Are they gone? Uh, no. Alright, drop dead. Yeah, drop down dead. Take out the choppers. And just hope it doesn't blow up right beside the security car. Which it almost did. Right, I'm going to do what I did in Sharper, don't. 
destroy the fence and take a shortcut to Portland Harbour and just hope the tank doesn't suddenly come out of nowhere. Oh, hello cop. Look for a way to make the cops disappear. Looks blue to me, police dispatcher lady. Hey, no tanks to bother me. Awesome sauce. Let's see if I can export a Yankee while I'm here. Oh, hello, cops. Oh, God. I'll grab the armor. No, actually, get the Yankee and then quickly drive to that armour pickup just north of here. If a tank comes along, I'll take it to the crane. I might as well. At least uh, damage doesn't affect how much you get paid. I don't think it does. Who cares? It's extremely easy to make money in this game. Way too easy in my opinion. I'm assuming it. another Yankee's not going to take its place. No. Well hopefully if I go over here, a tank will come along. I can just grab it. Okay, that's, uh, that's a mule which is also required. As far as I know. <clears throat> I'm doing well today. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Oh, another Yankee just came along. Hopefully a tank comes along too. Well, judging by the amount of health and armour I'm losing... You could be right there, officer. Is there a line runner part here somewhere? That's another Yankee. I'm sure a line runner spawns here somewhere. Unless I'm thinking of somewhere else. I might be thinking of the the cafe in Callahan Point. Yeah, I could be. I think you have to export a Patriot as well. I could always export the one outside the super safe. I could push it just a wee bit forward so as not to trigger the side mission. Yeah, this one. I can't remember if you have to take it to the one in Portland Harbour or Shoreside Vale. Hurry up before it gets wrecked. Oh hell, I don't want to do this. Well, you have no obligation to do it right now. It can wait. I don't like these missions anyway. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> whatever, game, whatever. Whoa, shit. Okay, it's this garage that's fine. I couldn't remember. Noise. I thought I heard a tank or a barracks truck coming along there. I was wrong. I think I saw a Rumpel part uh, just up the way from uh, the Super Save. Because if I did, I will export that as well. Yeah, I did. No, that's, that's a Pony, sorry, not a Rumpel. I'm pretty sure that's required. Also, 
And this is in a bobcat part from the beach. I have a feeling bobcats might be required by the one on the shore side, not Portland. I'll look at the list, see what it says. Uh, it's the one on the shore side veil. Fine. I doubt that armor will have come back. Right, let's just head back and save already. Come on, it's been too long. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. get a tank to come along. I'll use that to make my way back to stones. Ah, there's my line runner. Of course. Right, I'll export this and then I'll head back, okay? I was going to say I've been here for too long, but hey, I am going for 100%. Remember? This thing can shift, I must say. Okay, and let everyone know you're winner. Right, back to the Yankee. The armor might have come back. You never know. I doubt it, but... Uh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it to me. Lies. Why? Why? Oh! I thought that cop opened my passenger door right there, but I would be wrong. I'm so glad I was wrong. Alright, come on, let's go. I'm not taking the Porter Tunnel because it's shit. Okay then. Yep. Who fucking cares? I got past decoy. And export a shit ton of vehicles. Besides, I got a shit ton of weapons at my hideout, as you know. Okay. Adrenaline time yet a bloody again. I am considering grabbing a vehicle and driving. Oh god, I forgot. The Mafia. Well, I'm not seeing any uh, tanks, so I might be alright. Okay, now I do. <laughs> Hush your mouth. I'll just head back to my Portland hideout and save there. Since I've made quite a lot of progress since my previous uh, save. Oh god. Get onto the grass. Quick, 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 quick. You've got no weapons in your inventory. Oh, fucking chopper, honestly. Oh shit, is that a, Ah, it is a truck as well. Oh, this isn't good. I think I'm gonna die. Oh no. Am I okay? Uh, no. Well, for once the adrenaline didn't work. Shit. Well, if you hadn't driven into the water, that wouldn't have happened, would it? Yeah, of course they get out. Oh, da I don't know what language that was, but it might be what's known as completely fucktish. Alright, it's just gonna be unlocked. Yeah, good. Very good, right. Just get to your hideout and save, please. Oh god. Ah. 
No, fuck off. Whatever you were. Should hopefully be safe here. As long as I don't get flipped upside down. And I'll refill my weapons and ammo. And then save. Okay, that truck went right past. Have I got anything in my garage? I do now. Right, let's refill this stuff. Might be worth saving right now, just in case you get an unhandled cough, cough, exception, cough, cough. Okay, Dad. I'm not checking the footage because I'm pretty sure it's alright. Right. Just a couple more. And then I'll head on back to Staunton. No idea where that was going. What's so fucking ever? That truck's right there. I have to take the long way around. Go on, one more. One more. And that doesn't sound good. You getting it? Good. Oh, oh, oh. That's not so good. Okay, I'll get some more armour at my hideout. It's no big deal. Come on, let's get out of here before I get busted. Just get it now, mate. Just get it. Right. I'll do Love's Disappearance on the way back to my hideout. Just to get it out of the way. Save me from having to... Uh, Drive all the way back down there again after saving up my Staunton hideout. So I think uh, pretty much all the vehicles that are wanted by the Shoreside Import Export Garage are cars, whereas the ones for the Portland Garage are trucks and vans and stuff like that. Does not include the bobcat. Hmm. Tempted to take that bus, but nah, I'll save it till later. Uh. Pardon me. So, yeah, I think once I've saved, I might make a start on taxi driver with a tank. Oh, the one thing I will have to do is uh, get myself a taxi. Because without a taxi, I can't do the glitch that allows me to get... I mean, I can't do the glitch that allows me to do the mission in any vehicle I like. I need a taxi or a cabbie. And a tank. Nothing but a cutscene. So again, even Rockstar Games won't tell us what happened to Donald Love. But what do you think happened to him? Post your thoughts or theories in the comments below. Me? I'm not sure what happened to him. Well actually, I think he might have uh, simply fled the city. Maybe got into uh, some trouble with the Colombian cartel. Because I do know in his uh, final mission in uh, Liberty City Stories, he, uh, he got into some trouble with the cartel. And Tony Cipriani has to protect him.
Right, I'll put this tank in my garage, save again, and then find a taxi, put it in the garage, save yet again, and then begin taxi driver. I might try and do 15 fares if I can. Right, save. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. 